welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. This is Intentional Living and today we're doing our last cash stuffing for October which includes me and Collins both are of our full-time incomes which is our usual $17.15. I made $353 off of Etsy last week or this past week and then we cashed out some of Collins um life and disability insurances because we wanted to switch what provider they're with and so that was like our only option so we um, got about four thousand dollars from that that I'll be stuffing today into some different priorities because he was paying for some policies that we feel like we don't need and then when we do want them probably in a year once we're married um, we're just going to do it at a different um, we're going to do it at fidelity just to keep all of our things at fidelity so we are stuffing six thousand and twenty dollars today which is crazy and i didn't have enough cash at the house so i am going to use some prop and some real cash for this so let's give it a count and see if it's all here but it is a lot today so we have one thousand five hundred two thousand two thousand five hundred 600, 700, 800, 900, 3,000, 3,100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 4,000, I think. Yes, 4,000. I'm going to write that down. So, 4,000 and 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 720, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 810, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 600, or 6,000, so that's 6,005, 10, 15, 20. So it's all here. That was a behemoth to count. So I'm gonna put prop money here with the hundreds in front and then lay everything else out. Okay, so we're gonna start as normal with our bills. And in rent, this should do it for all the bills this month. So in rent, we are adding $415. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and fifteen. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five, fifty, five. 60 so 1260 okay it's 1660 i don't know where the 12 came from in my brain i did just wake up so that could be it filming this before i go to work um utilities is getting its usual 90 so 50 70 90 so we have 51 50 200 20 40 60 80 300 320 340 360 My phone bill is getting 15. So 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, and 60. And then subscriptions is getting 10. So 10, 20, 30, and 40 in subscriptions. In 
insurances, we're adding 120. So 120, I ran out of hundreds. So 1, 2, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480. Which hopefully this will go down now because we're not paying into Colin's life and disability. He has life um, coverage at work and some disability covered at work. So he just opted in for those. And then we'll add any additional that we want once we're married. Gym memberships is getting 25. So 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. And then personal trainer is getting 400. So 100, 200, 300, 400. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred and ten. So one thousand six hundred and ten dollars. And then Collins Roth IRA is getting fifty. So fifty one fifty two for his Roth. And that will do it for bills. <clears throat> so we can go on to our weekly spending. For drinks today, we're gonna add $50 because I'm trying really hard for us to not go in the negative for this. So I have 50, 75 now in drinks. Eating out is getting 150, so 50, 100, 150, so 51, 150, 170 in eating out. Gas is getting 50, so we have 100 now in gas. Groceries is getting 250, so 51, 52, 250. So 1, 200, 300, 400, 500 in groceries. And then I added 15 for me and Colin spending. We'll see if it gets to stay there and actually be used or if I went over in any categories for the last two weeks. So we will find that out in my next video, which is a cash unstuffing. Just kind of split these up. Okay, and then my fall savings challenge, which is my scratch off challenge that is in my Etsy shop. I'm adding $20 because that's what we scratched last time. So we have 20, 40, 60, 75. Just adding up quickly. And then now we get to scratch for next week. So we'll start with this one. It's $20. And I think, let's go for one more. 20 and 15. So we're going to stuff 35 next time. I'll put the cards I've done in the back. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen more. So I feel like I can finish that by early December, which will be good. Oops. But yeah, check this out in my Etsy shop down below if you are interested in a fall savings challenge. Um, and now we're going to move on to my business binder. So here we stuff money made by my Etsy shop. So taxes gets 25% of what I make on Etsy, which today was 85. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 5. So now in taxes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred. 
1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, and 130. So 1,130. Products today is getting $25. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 200 in products. Equipment has $50 and we're not adding to it today. Shipping has 200 and we're not adding to it. And then office supplies has 20, 40, 60, 70, and we're not adding to that either. But marketing, we are adding $15 into the $2 bill category. So I have 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 700, 710, and 715, plus the 100 in giveaways. So we have 815 in total in marketing. And then for bills, Instant Ink is getting 10, so now it has 20. QuickBooks is getting 10, so now it has 20. YouTube Premium is getting 5, so it has 10. Amazon's getting 5, so I have 100, 10, 25, and 130. Canva's getting 5, so it has 10. Cricut's getting 5, so it has 10. And then P.O. Box is getting 5, so it has 10. So $210 is in bills my business and then emergency fund is getting 15 which was 5% of what I made so we have 500 600 700 750 800 820 40 60 80 90 900 905 and 910 in emergency fund Professional development is not getting anything, but it has $400 in the bank, and then 20, 40, 55. So 455. And then my Roth IRA is getting $25 today, which is back in our bills binder. So now we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 235 in my Roth for the month. Okay. So now we get to go on to the fun stuff, in my opinion, which is long term spending and savings. Clothes, coaching, and Costco all got skipped today and they're all empty but date night is getting 20 so now we have 40 in date night fitness is getting 10 fun is getting 20 so I have 30 now and fun. Gifts is getting 40. So I have 20, 40, 50 in gifts. And then $35 is going into giving. So 20, 35. So I have 20, 35 and $40 in giving. Haircuts today is getting 40, so 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, and 140. Household is also getting 40, so we have $50 now in household. Self-care is getting 10. 
we have 20 in self-care. Toiletries is getting 10, so we'll have 15 in toiletries. And then woodworking is getting 10, so we'll have 10. And then yard is getting a good chunk of change. So it's going to get 500, which I'm going to put a prop in. Um, and so we're going to have $510. And the reason for that is Colin wants to get some new yard tools. And so he asked if we could make that a priority with the $4,000 from the policy buyout or like refund or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're putting $500 there for that. For him to buy a couple new yard tools and then buffer is getting 10 so we have 20. so that is our first big priority of how to use that money next up is baby blue and i am a little behind in funding my own birthday which is this upcoming weekend um my dad has 50 which i did already send him his gift card for his birthday and then for my birthday, we're just gonna finish it off with 180, so 20, 40, 60, 80. So this makes this 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. So now we have 250 in birthdays and now we're fully funded for my birthday, which is, like I said, this weekend. Electronics is getting 100 because I wanted to get it to 15. Um, hundred because it's been at fourteen hundred for so long. So one thousand one two three four five hundred or fifteen hundred. Let's do one that matches. Yeah. So now this is at fifteen hundred. I just like things that have fives in them. So I wanted it to be fifteen hundred for a while. Emergency fund has ten thousand, so we're not adding to that. Holidays though, we're gonna add a hundred. So we have a hundred in Thanksgiving. We're gonna add a hundred to Black Friday. I forget if I did. I think I did one of these. So 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 for Black Friday. So now we have 300 in holidays. And then medical, I decided to add $300 to it. So one, two, three, because that makes it 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Just to get it to a flat 1000 as our medical buffer, because we both also have FSA spending. And then Rosie, we decided to add 150. So she has 50, 75 in food. And let's add 25 to that. So, okay, wait, let's do for her 100, 20, 40, 50 is what we're adding for her. So I'm gonna do 25. So I'm gonna put in 30 and grab a five. So now for food, let's see, we have 50, 70, 90, 100 for food. Treats. Let's add 25. So 20, 45, and 50 for treats. Meds, we have 50, 70, 95. So we'll keep that 95. And then we're gonna put this 100 in vet visits. So we have one, two, three, four, 500 for vet visits. So now we're at $745 for Rosie, our dog who is going to be the cutest little, <laughs> um, this video is gonna come out on Halloween, today's Halloween, um, so I'm gonna put it up later today, but she's gonna be the cutest um, like ambulance for Halloween, so I will insert pictures in my next video because she's so cute. Um, but I don't have any pictures right now because we haven't put her in it yet. So scooter is empty, we're not adding to it, and same for walk away fund, so that is it for baby blue. Next up is going to be Big Blue. So we have 20s, 100, 500s, and 1,000 to stuff in here. Starting with cars, we are just going to add the usual $40 today. 
I did get a flat tire this week, um, but I have AAA, so it was $0, which is awesome. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 525, 40 in repairs. plus a thousand in emergency funds, plus 200 in oil changes and a thousand in deductibles. So we have $2,740. I need to schedule my oil change for next week and to get a new spare tire because I have a full size spare on my car. Um, so I used that when my other tire got flat, but I need to like replace it obviously. So that will come out of repairs. Christmas, we're adding $40. So our parents have 175. Our siblings have 200. My niece has 100. Our friends have 200. Colin's family has 200. Gifts for other people have 100. Work people have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then we'll add the $40 to events. So we'll have 45 in events. So we have $1,120 in Christmas. And then we're skipping home. I think it has 2,300 but I'll put a question mark because I'm not sure. And then for vacation, I'm adding $500 because I did just go on a girl's trip this past weekend. So I need to make sure I have money to pay off my credit card for that. So $600 is now in vacation. So there's that. And then what is the rest of this money for? What could it be? Perhaps a wedding? So first I'm just adding a flat out $285. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Oh no. You know what? Let's do it a different way because I didn't do the correct change. So we are finishing the 100 envelope challenge today. <laughs> let's start with that. Um, I, we got all this cash and I was like, you know what, let's just finish the hundred envelope challenge. So we are going to add up what we have not stuffed and it should be 1,695. So I'm going to start by pulling out all the ones I have stuffed. So we have rounding that up. We have 75 plus 75, plus 75, plus 70, plus 70, plus 70, plus 70, plus 65, plus 65, plus 65, plus 65, plus, so 7.65, plus 65, that one's already stuffed, so plus 60, plus 60, plus 60, plus 60. So we're at 1,070. 55 is stuffed, so plus 55, plus 55, plus 55, plus 55, now we're at 1290. And then let's see, we've got a bunch of these are already stuffed. These are already stuffed, so then plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, plus 25, plus 25, plus 25, plus 25, 20 is stuffed, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20, and we've got some of these already stuffed, 
plus 15, plus 15, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. So yes, 1695 is in fact all of what we need to add for the hundred dollar or hundred envelope challenge. So this will complete the hundred envelope challenge for me, which is exciting because my goal was just to finish it by the end of the year. And now I have finished it before November, which is awesome. So, and it would have definitely been a tough thing to do by the end of the year had we not gotten this windfall of cash. So, and the number one priority for us right now is wedding. So it makes sense to put the majority of it towards the wedding. And I kind of wanted to finish this challenge so I could start a, a new one of another one that I offer in my um, shop. So now I'm just going to put these in my box because I need the satisfaction of it being done. Um, but then basically at the end of the stuffing, I still had more money left. So I started by being like, okay, we need to prioritize the hundred envelope challenge, maxed it out with the 1695. And then by the time I stuffed all the other things, there was still $285 left. So we're also going to add 285. So today we're adding in wedding as a total $1,980. So just about $2,000, which is super exciting. And that should be what is left on the tray. So we will count it once I finish doing this. This is my 100 envelope challenge that I sell in my Etsy shop. You can buy it with or without these placeholders. I just do this because I like to stuff the cash in a binder and I'm rather in here. And then I take the money to the bank every month so that it can accrue interest. So that's why I do it that way. These are already stuffed. Yeah, this was an exciting thing that we could do today. It's funny because I kind of started this challenge with a windfall of cash and because of the rewards challenges and things that I did at the end of 2023. And now we're ending with kind of a windfall. So stuffing a bunch all at once. All right, that's it. Just like that, 100 envelope challenge is done. Okay, all done. So now let's count. We should have 19, oops. We should have $1,980. So we have 1,500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yes, so 1980 is in fact what we are adding in here. So batch parties, we have $4,000. Rings, we also have $4,000. Outfits, let's see. I want to put, I think, 2,000 in outfits. So 1,500. And then let's do, I'm trying to see how to not like expand the envelope so much. So 1,500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, so, or 2,000. So 1,500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2,000. Okay, so 2,000 in outfits. And this, why this is so high will make more sense in a future wedding video. <laughs> Gifts has 3,000, beauty has 1,000, accessories has 500, which I think is enough for that. 
And then decor has 2000. And then the beach house. So we were renting a beach house for everyone in the wedding party. So I think we are going to need a bunch of things for like groceries and um, soap and paper towels and toilet paper. So I think I'm going to do a thousand in there. There's that. And then the welcome party, I'm going to put the rest of this in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, seven forty five. I don't know. So I think we have in wedding eighteen thousand two hundred and forty five, but I'm gonna count this one more time. Yes, $18,245 is in fact what we have saved so far for the wedding. My goal was to hit to $20,000 by the end of the year, which means we only have to save $1,755 more before the end of the year, and we have eight more cash stuffings. So I think we can do it. We'll see. Um, between Black Friday sales, I'm hoping that will help push us towards that goal. So... Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.